Well, right now we are right in the middle of the worst refugee crisis since World War II. As the UN helps many resettle to safety, others are running to escape war and violence without government help. These are known as asylum seekers. In an original report, Two On Your Side's Danny Spiewak explains why these asylum seekers who've landed in the U.S. are now flocking to Canada at record pace. Civil war in Syria and Somalia, gang violence in Central America, natural disasters in Haiti. 60 million people around the world are displaced. And Mariah Walker works with some of them at a Jericho Road shelter named Vive on Buffalo's east side. Her job is to help people cross the border into Canada. I never thought that people would be running from my country. Asylum claims into Canada from the U.S. have doubled under the Trump administration's hardline stance. Federal statistics show that nearly 6,000 people were processed at Ontario borders in 2017 compared to just 2,800 in 2015. An asylum seeker is someone who feels so persecuted they cannot return to their home country. And they're often running for their lives. Liz Hurley helps asylum seekers at the Buffalo Peace House in Hamburg. But there's a court case starting next year that could impact asylum seekers and refugees greatly. They are just exactly people like us who are professionals and whose lives got turned upside down. The legal kind of battle right now in the Canadian courts is that um, they're saying that the United States is no longer safe for refugees. It's a challenge to the Safe Third Country Agreement, a treaty that says any refugee who arrives in the U.S. or Canada can only make a claim in that country. Advocates are calling on Justin Trudeau's governing Liberal Party to repeal the treaty. His government is quietly working to shut down Canada's border to asylum seekers who are forced to risk life and limb to get safety. But Canada's Conservative Party wants the treaty strengthened to prevent refugees from illegally crossing. At least 7,000 have already been intercepted this year, mostly in Quebec. So refugee policy appears complicated on both sides of the border. And the summer months are expected to bring even more asylum seekers from the U.S. into Canada. The Canadian government has even directed some border agents from southern Ontario to Quebec to deal with the influx. So this is really this summer, Scott Mary Alice, one of the biggest political battles that's uh, going to be brewing across the border over in Canada. Absolutely, for sure. Yeah, mm. excellent report as always, Danny. We want to mm. let all of our viewers know that that was Danny's final report here at WGRZ. Mm -hmm. He is moving on, leaving us, if you will, but mm -hmm. going to a big sister station in Minneapolis, CARE, and we are going to miss you greatly. Yeah, guys, it's just a, it's a bittersweet day because I've been here five years now, and- Five years. Five, five. years, yeah, and it just flies, you know? Five years just goes like that in the blink of an eye, but right. I, I, I think the thing about Western New York is that, especially with our jobs, we get everywhere. So we have eight counties in our viewing area. We go to Canada sometimes, as you saw, right. and you, you meet somebody every day from somewhere a little bit different, and a lot of people that don't know each other, somebody from Genesee County doesn't know somebody in Buffalo, and, and I, I just think it's so interesting to kind of get that experience, and everybody in Western New York has been so welcoming, no matter, who it's been. I've just had so many fun experiences and working with an amazing team at Channel 2. Well, you were fresh out of school, J school, mm -hmm. when you came right. here. This was right. your first job and mm -hmm. you've done an amazing job, Danny. You've grown you. so much. You sit mm -hmm. right next to me in the office Yep. and I have enjoyed yeah. getting to know you. I know uh -huh. everybody in the newsroom mm -hmm. is sad you're leaving because mm -hmm. you're not only a great reporter, you're a super guy. Thank you. And I mean that from the bottom mm -hmm. of our heart. You really are. I've mm -hmm. walked into the news director's office. Whenever there's an opening, I mm -hmm. say, this guy's another Danny Spiewak. <laughs> right. I say that. I said, I right. think he's another Danny Spiewak. <laughs> mm. so That's you're a high compliment. We, uh, yeah. are, we know you're only going to mm -hmm. continue to uh, grow in greatness, I mm. should say, because you've really distinguished yourself mm. here. And we are going to miss you. And please stay in mm. touch. We know we can still Absolutely. watch you on Facebook and Twitter, right? That's right. Yep. And, you know, I, as I told the newsroom today when we were talking earlier, just about how I've had so much fun coming to work every day. Mm. And every day is an adventure. I think if somebody says, you know, what's the thing you love most about this job? I think it's the adventure. And every single day, you don't know what's going to happen. And you don't know who you're going to meet. And it's just been uh, been quite a ride. We're so. going to watch your career blossom, that's for sure. Yeah, so an stay outstanding in touch. young man. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you, guys. All right. Mm -hmm. yep.